All right, you guys, my name is Gary, and today you're going to get the Gary version of the output settings on free show presentation software. So let's go ahead and dive into this particular program and let's see what it's like. So I'm going to first show you my screen here, and you can see here that I've got a slideshow of actually my notes for this particular uh, tutorial. And so the first thing you want to do to get to your settings is we're going to go up here to the cogwheel, we're going to click that, and it brings you to your settings page, all right? Your settings page, I'm on the outputs option and that's what we're gonna be focused on today. And really simply, the output option first starts out with the outputs. First, you gotta enable them, right? And so enabling the output activates the output, very simple. And then the option that says use styles, it allows you to select a style that dictates how the output will behave for everything that you present. So it could be scripture, songs, uh, presentations, you name it, this is going to be the style that you use for that particular setting. And for me, um, I've got it set up to show um, a certain backdrop and a little bit different formatting for uh, my style that I've selected, which is dark weight. So you can click that and it gives you a drop down of any others that you've created and or a default, uh, or you can leave it blank with this little dash here. All right. The next portion talks about window. The window portion is uh, starts out with the output screen, and the output screen has to do with uh, the physical screen that will display your presentation. If you choose the screen, it'll actually give you the option. So I've got a monitor, a 27-inch monitor here at screen number two, and I've got my MacBook Pro at screen number one. And I've got mine's coming out of screen number two, and that's what's in front of me for the output screen. And then if you go below that, you've got the always on top option and this always on top option is selected on mine if i deselect it what it does is it makes whatever's behind it possible to come over the top of my output and so it makes your output not get overlapped by any other windows which is very important and so i keep that on and i would recommend that you would keep that on if you're going to be doing a live show or presentation that's really helpful unless you plan to make it visible what's up under there so if you've got internet browsers open or word documents whatever it is that's going to show up and then kiosk mode a little bit different but very similar uh, it makes your computer function as if no one is supposed to access anything except free show right so it's like always on top on steroids uh, so your screen shortcut toggling so for me for example i like to use my command button on my mac and i will sort through programs by just hitting the tab button as a shortcut if it's in kiosk mode, you can't do that, all right? Uh, and so it makes sure um, that nothing can be made visible outside of free show. And if there is a window that you can see, you can access it. But if only free show is all that's visible, that's all you're going to be able to access until you go into the settings and turn off kiosk mode. All right. It's handy to ensure something is not accidentally shown on uh, on the display during your presentation. So if you've got volunteers, you want to make sure they don't accidentally put something on the screen that shouldn't be there. Kiosk mode is the best way to go, especially if that's a dedicated computer just for free show and showing the presentation for uh, the service or the meeting or whatever it is that you're using it for. All right. The next session is NDI. And so the first option for NDI is to enable it, right? So if you turn it off, it won't be there. But if you keep it on, it comes on. And I've got mine's connected and it shows you how many devices are connected to your NDI signal. So it actually is sending out an NDI signal. I actually have it connected through OBS. And so it's reading that one is being uh, one device or one platform is using this NDI signal. And then this got this audio option. It's not yet implemented, so we can't speak to it, but my guess is that it's going to carry the audio from your output through NDI to your program like OBS or whatever you're sending that NDI signal to. And then the frame rate quite simply allows you to dictate the NDI frame rate, uh, potentially to match the frame rate of your NDI output device or software. Okay, and if you click it, it gives you some options to pick. 24 frames per second is pretty popular. 30 frames per second is the default, and it goes all the way up to 60 frames per second. All right, and then transparent uh, is pretty cool because what transparent does is it makes any unused area of your presentation, it makes that become transparent. So if you've got words up with no background, then if you click this transparent option, this particular output is going to 
always show the words, but it's not going to have whatever's not there. So no background will be seen. And that's helpful if you're going to put it over some video footage or over uh, um, uh, another output that you have. Maybe you got it plugged up uh, to, to OBS and you're, you're sending out some other slides or some background or some branded something or another. You can use that transparent background to make sure your words show up, but nothing else uh, will show up if there's no uh, background selected in free show. All right. And then invisible window. I need your help. Give me a comment and, and make a note in the comments as to what invisible window is for, because I have no clue. I've played with it and tried to understand it, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me yet. Uh, but I'm sure you guys can help me out. So uh, that's the basics of the output window here. If you go down to the very bottom, this is where it shows you all your active outputs. Uh, and so if you want to add one, you go to the very bottom and click the word add, and it gives you the option to make a normal output or a stage output. All right. And so those are the defaults that you can pick from. And then once you select one, it's going to bring you to this window here. All right. So I've got a lower thirds. And with that one, I've got NDI on connected to one that's connected to OBS as well. And I've got transparent background on. And you can see this background, this one here. So if I click it, this is what is there. It says invisible window. I have no clue. And my actual presentation, however, looks like this, right? So it's different, but it has all the same content. But I've also made it to where those titles don't show up uh, based on the settings of the, of, the, of the slideshow. So that's a whole other story. But I do have a second output here. and then. I've got a third output, which is a stage output, right? And so it's enabled and it's actually going over NDI as well. And it looks like this, all right? So this is what that confidence monitor would look like or whatever it is. Uh, and typically, if there were something showing, for example, I went back a slide and it has the title and it has the content of the slide. And then it has this next slide up kind of gray. And then it shows the formatting of the current slide is how I've set up my stage monitor and then the time in yellow. All right. And so that's my three outputs that I've set up. You can set up many more by just continuing to click add and they will show up in your output uh, preview on the top right. And that is the Gary version of outputs in free show.